Yo, what's up guys, Tooney here, back with another video. And today we got my spring anime 2021 watch list. With winter coming to an end with a ton of bangers, here we got the spring season. So I'm recording this video a bit different. I got the face cam on the right, I'm gonna show some trailers and footage. I feel like this would be a better way to avoid copyright. So we're trying things a bit different, which is get started with the list. So first up, we got My Academia season five. Oh, super excited for My Academia season five. I actually read the manga, I can't even lie. The first half is gonna be kind of whack. Class A versus Class B, it's enjoyable, but I feel like it's not as hype as the rest of the story. But Studio Bones, I feel like they're gonna do it better than the manga, just by this clean animation you can see in the trailer. But what I'm really excited for is My Villain Academia, aka the second part of season five, and that's, I can't wait to see how Andy Twitter reacts to that. Next up, we got Shaman King 2021. So it's actually getting like the Full Metal Brotherhood treatment, getting a full on remake in 2021. It's pretty crazy. And what's also crazy, the manga is getting re-released in like Omnibus's three in ones, but I think Kodansha or Squirt. No, I think it's Kodansha, right? Yeah. So Shaman King's back. I haven't experienced Shaman King at all. So I'm super excited to get into this battle shown in. I heard so many great things. Next up, we got To Your Eternity. So what's so special about this series is it's the creator of a silent voice. And a silent voice is one of the best movies I've ever watched. Like it's one of my favorite movies. So for his next work to get an anime, like a series by Brainspace, I feel like Brainspace was a very interesting choice, like studio pick for this type of story. But again, I don't know too much about it, but if anything, like a silent voice, like it's drama, sad, the excites of life, I wonder how it is. Next up, this series I'm pretty excited for. You got Space Fairy Tale. Oh no, I'm just kidding. You got Eden Zero. So Eden Zero, same creator's Fairy Tale. We got a lot of heavy hitters this season. And what's so special about this one, done by JC Staff. And obviously it's not New Testament, but JC Staff picking up another project, Eden Zero. But I feel like JC Staff, their style fits Eden Zero. I don't think it's gonna be the most groundbreaking story. I think it's gonna be pretty solid and a good watch. Next, we got the thing everyone's gonna be talking about. Nagatora-san. So, you know, if you watch Uzumaki, uh, Uzumaki, Uzaki-chan, well, I don't know why I said that. But if you watch Uzaki-chan, everyone knows how like that prism pretty much just blew up from like the annoyance of the main character. Well, we got another one this season, but it looks pretty good. Again, I don't know too much about, but I just know. Andy Twitter is gonna go crazy for it. I'm gonna get on that hot train. Next up, I've been wanting to read this manga for a very long time. It got no English like release. I'm, Kodansha does it digitally, but there's no print, so I never got around to reading it. But we got Tokyo Revengers. Tokyo Revengers looks really interesting to me. And I think it's gonna be just an overall banger show. I love the genre and the demographic it approaches and it's the way of the storytelling from the trailers I see and then people recommendations. So I'm gonna definitely check out this one. This is probably the most hyped I'd say probably my top three hyper shows this season. Next, we got Combinets will be dispatched. So what's so special about this one? It's the creator of Konosuba and JC Staff again. JC Staff is working on a lot this season, but actually I wanted to point out something. So if you watch the reveal trailer on Funimation, well, just a trailer or some, I'm not sure if it's a reveal trailer. But if you watch the trailer on Funimation's YouTube channel, if you know, I work for Yen Press and Yen Press does publish this series, I actually made the trailer, not the trailer, like a little animation ad towards the end promoting the light novels for Yen Press. So if you actually watch that video, my motion graphic is in a Funimation video for this trailer for the new anime. So I thought that was really cool. I just kind of want to throw that out there. But Konosuba, super excited, kind of watch it. Next we got, actually the last two is some more Yen Press heat. We got 86. So 86 had a lot of great things. It's actually fairly popular in the light novel world. And for it to get an anime is super good. But what got me even more excited a1 Studio, A1 Pictures is working on this. So imagine some Alicization type animation. Oh, it's over. This is going to be a banger. I can already tell. A light novel adaptation done by A1. It's only, it's, it's only banger. And then the final one, we got I Have Been Killing Slimes for 300 years. It sounds like the generic like fantasy. I don't believe it's the Isekai, but it sounds like the generic like sort of like fantasy with the lowly anime girls. I'm down for it. I'm not, my expectations are pretty low, but I haven't, to be fair, it may be generic, but to me it's not, cause I feel like I haven't watched too many of these type of shows. So I'm pretty down for it. So yeah, that's my watch list for spring. There's so many bangers and honestly, winter was super good. Yeah, like Mashuko Tensei, uh, Kamino Jihin, Hori Mia, yeah, Kaisen still going, Dr. Stone, uh, Promise to everyone, let's not talk about that one. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this style of the video. I know the past ones I've done is a bit different style. I normally have the picture in a trailer. But I thought we'd do something different. Let's switch it up. 
So subscribe, like this video, and peace. What you do, stay awesome.